All right, um, start video. Here we go. There we are. All right, up and running. All right, so for homework, what I decided to do was repeat Friday's class. You've had a chance now to get away from the classroom. So the issue here is really always long term memory for literacy and math. You got to remember the things you, you studied and worked on. And I'm a big fan of therefore doing it every day, as many problems as possible every day. So let's start with, I think we get about eight or nine things uh, thinking back on the class here. So here was the first one we did. We did and you're gonna pause the video. I'm not gonna pause. I'm just gonna keep going. It's Friday afternoon. Gotta be up and keen leaving at four. So I got about 20 minutes to do this. So I put the problem on the board. You pause and try it. I'm not gonna pause. I'm just gonna go right through things. Okay, and mostly mechanical. I'm not going to talk too much about concept here. All right, so we practice five minus three i squared. Okay, you pause. Twenty-five minus thirty i, doubling that product. Uh, minus times a minus is always a plus. Nine i squared. What is nine i squared? It's minus nine. Twenty-five minus nine. Sixteen minus thirty i. Okay, so we practice that. We practice conjugating. We practice five over four plus uh, five i. Okay, so what's the conjugate? You're pausing. Four plus five i, four minus five i, four minus five i. So I haven't changed the size of the fraction because I'm multiplying by one. Five times four, 20. Five times minus five i minus 25 i. Four times four, 16. Positive five times negative five is negative 25. I times i, i squared. Middle terms cancel, so we don't do it. So I squared makes this positive 25. There's your answer. 16 plus 25, 41. Okay, I'm flying through this. Feel free to replay anything. Okay, so that's what we did. What else did we do? We looked at how do you write 3x squared minus 30x plus 7 in graphing form? Well, we said you can start right there. That gets you the first term. Now, do you remember how to find the x value of the vertex? Because I know I got one of these things, right? Minus b over 2a. Open that came to mind. The opposite of minus 30, positive 30. 2 times 3 is 6. So I now know 5 is my critical number. And I want to make that act like 0 squared. So I go x minus 5. Then I drop a 5 in. If I drop a 5 in, I get 5 squared times 3 is 75. 5 times negative 30 is minus 150, and I got a positive 7. Ooh, I like that. So that's half of this, minus 75 plus 7. I now know that that is minus 68. That's the graphing form. So I now know that's 5 minus 68. And the original, 0, 7 is on this side, the decreasing side. So I got a quick sketch. I got K. What else did we practice? We practiced arc sine of negative uh, one, arc sine of negative one. Okay, so there's your arc sine, goes up to positive one, negative one, and we talked about how do I get from zero degrees, because these are the ratios, your ratios are on this part of the graph, your angles are over here. So how do I get from zero degrees to negative one? I'm going down 90, going down 90 degrees. Okay, so that's done. Then we talked about, oh, what if we write these things a little differently? What if we write these things as, um, uh, where am I? Oh yeah, the, the sine of the arc cosine of negative five over six, okay? Well, arc cosine is the top half of the circle, but I'm not looking at my famous ratios. So I'm gonna draw it in this quadrant and I'm gonna go back to definition adjacent over hypotenuse. That looks like a negative five to six ratio for me. 36 and 25, 36 and 25, I'm gonna subtract 25 from 36, which is 11. So that's the square root of 11. I now have this angle, and I know the sine of that angle is opposite over hypotenuse, square root of 11 over six. All right, so we practice that. What else did we practice? Well, I started you off the class with solving x squared equals negative 10, something like that. So you're pausing the video. Okay, I'm not. I'm hoping you did plus or minus the square root of negative 10. 
And then I hope you wrote it as plus or minus the square root of 10i. That's what you're trying to learn. And that morphed us into this discussion. How do you solve 2x minus 3 squared plus 5 equals 0? And I hope you move the 5 to this side. I hope you divided by 2. I hope you did the plus minus square root. I hope you took the minus and called it i. And then I hope you put minus 3 on the other side as positive 3. And that's just a solution to a quadratic. Okay. And then I gave you the solution to a quadratic. And the solution to a quadratic might have been x equals 5 plus or minus 2i. And I said, can you give me ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0? Can you give me that? And I hope you remember what you did. X minus five equals plus or minus two I. Step one, addition became subtraction. I got to get squaring. So you square both sides. I hope we're getting better at this squaring. I hope you're getting X squared minus 10 X plus 25. Plus or minus squared is positive, so we won't write it. Two squared is four. I squared is I squared. And I hope you know that that's the number negative four. So x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals negative four. Bring the four over. x squared minus 10x plus 29 equals zero. That was our class. I may have missed a problem or two. I don't know, but that's some practice for you. Okay, and if you didn't get those right on the last test and you do now, that's a lot of learning in one day. Have a nice weekend.